Kubernetes, Knative, Kubeless, Serverless? Are we talking SAP speak? Gone are the days of proprietary languages and complex applications that are hard to develop, costly to customize, and difficult to maintain. SAP Cloud Platform is where the cool stuff happens, and CTO Bjorn Gerke, who never hesitates to roll up his sleeves to get the job done, is here to talk what, when, and how. So here we are in Vegas at SAP TechEd, and uh, SAP made a big bet about a year and a half ago on Kubernetes, and it seems to me that bet is paying off in spades now, right? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, this is not SA SA your grandfather's SAP anymore, you might might also say. Uh, Kubernetes is big uh, uh, here this year. Uh, we talked a lot about it and, and how we also use it internally and how we enable it for, for partners and customers to consume it as well. But it's it's part of a, a bigger move at SAP towards consuming, but also heavily contributing in the open source space uh, and rather collaborating around uh, those topics where there's an enormous speed and an enormous, uh, let's say, investment going on in a larger community uh, around technology innovation. And Kubernetes is one of those things. Um, we're very active in other spaces as well, like Cloud Foundry uh, in the machine learning space. So I think that the, it's it's the time where, especially in the cloud, it's about partnerships. Um, That's right. It's what we're doing with the hyperscaler uh, cloud providers like um, uh, Microsoft, like uh, Amazon, like uh, Google. Um, and others. Um, so it, it's really about the partnerships that, that drive innovation and SAP is uh, big time betting and, and investing into those areas these days. Yeah, and cloud is the new center of gravity, it seems to me. That's what we've seen over the past two years in particular. And open source is a big part of that, right? So open yeah. source actually opens the doors to innovation, to bigger ecosystems, to more custom innovation for the enterprise, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, the, the move towards these open source standards and open source projects is really kind of opening up the whole ecosystem towards a broader set of developers uh, with uh, existing skill sets in the market, which is beneficial for us, it's beneficial for partners, it's beneficial for the customers alike, and it's really kind of the speed of innovation that is happening in those spaces where it just doesn't make sense anymore to be out there with uh, your own proprietary kind of invention, um, but rather kind of engage with the, with the community at large. And especially with cloud, we see that happening. Hyperscalers are driving a lot of those uh, uh, innovations in their space, and I think everybody, and especially SAP, is well advised in the interest of customers to embark on those journeys and kind of rather join the train and help it steer towards enterprise-grade use cases yep. uh, to make it consumable for the business scenarios that we're after. Um, and that's our interest and that's why we're investing there big time. That's great stuff. Blockchain, data hub, all this fun stuff. It's where the cool stuff happens, right, in the cloud? Yeah, I, I mean, uh, in the end, this is here. This is TechEd. Uh, we have a lot of topics which are in the, let's say, classical space, so a huge ABAP community here uh, that is, uh, was super excited to hear about ABAP as a service and cloud platform. So also the classical group is moving to the cloud, and that's the overall trend. And the speed and the, the breadth of innovations that we're seeing delivered through the cloud is just mind-blowing. It's amazing. And, uh, there's no other way to get uh, innovation so quickly into the hands of our customers. So that's great. definitely, people are coming here to get educated, to share, to network. Uh, tech it here, that's definitely the space where the cool happens. All right, thank you so much.